What is up guys? I hope all your morning is going amazing as always. Uh, I just basically hopped out of the shower and today we're going to head to the shop and start disassembling the Grand Marquis so we can finally, finally start the E36 build which I'm so pumped on. I've been waiting for this so hopefully it turns out the way we want it to because we're actually going to take our time, you know, make it nice, not rush it. So. Also gonna stop at the P.O. box because I know we have a couple packages to pick up there so like I said let's go get this mop cut off because it's just been way way too long. Not too bad out, not too cold. Thankfully it's not 60 degrees because as you guys know global warming is really really kicking the earth's ass right now so Let's hop in the fucking beast and start her up. And for everyone that's wondering how the deer, uh, how the Durango's doing, it's doing good. It's running really, really good. Uh, since I got it, I think I put like, I um, mean, 5,000 miles on it. I'm pretty sure I got it at 152, and it's just, just about to hit 158. So, she's running good. Tire pressure's good. Oil's good. Tranny fluid's good. Coolant's good. So, anyone that says Durangos aren't reliable, I have to disagree with you. She also needs a really, really bad bath, so I might do that as well. Just pulled up to the P.O. box and go quickly check it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if the main office is open because it doesn't look like there's a lot of cars here, so hopefully it is. The main office was not open, so we weren't able to get the packages. Damn, like I feel like the past like four or five times we came here, it hasn't been open, so we're going to head and get our hair cut now and then stop at Wendy's. <laughs> Can I get a Baconator sandwich? And if it comes with tomatoes, no tomatoes? It only comes with mayo, ketchup, cheese, bacon. Perfect. And then can I get a, uh, a medium Coke, no ice? Anything else? And a medium fry. Here you go. Thank you, man. Yep, have a good one. Oh, wait. My bad. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Enjoy yep. the rest of your day. We have obtained the food. Now we have to obtain a haircut. Supercuts is the way to go. $12 haircuts, and they do pretty good, so. <clears throat> I feel like a new person. Thank you, Supercuts. Always hooking it up. They always know what's up. $14. Can't beat that. My head is cold now, so we're gonna head to, uh, actually, we're gonna head back to the house, meet up with Orion, and then we're gonna head to the shop. Like I said, we're taking everything off the Grand Marquis cleaning up the garage and then within the next two or three days we're gonna start working on E36 so let's do it. Stopping at the automatic spot free rinse to get an undercarriage wash and a full body wash for only five dollars so looks so much cleaner and this one actually had the undercarriage wash so I have no more salt under there. I just look under there and it looks absolutely clean as hell so now we are clear to head back to the house. We have arrived at the shop and someone special has come and seen us. Hello? 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 Hey. So we are now going to start the process of disassembling the whole Grand Marquis front end. And I know literally every single fucking fluid in this car is now on the ground. So taking apart the whole front end is very, very self-explanatory. It's just literally all 8 mil bolts. As you see, our line is going to go around and cut all the zip ties with dikes, cut all the wires with dikes. Then we got to take off this cooler, all the fans, radiator, that cooler, that cooler, uh, the reservoir, the reservoir for the uh, radiator, the FMU. So it's easy. <laughs> Making progress here. All right, we did it, and we caused a complete, complete cesspool under the car. But everything is out that we wanted to salvage: the oil reservoir, 
the turbo, the radiator, the uh, the one actually good blue cooler. Uh, yeah, the both wastegates. Um, that's basically it. He's just uh, getting off the last Anki, and then we can push it outside and have the junkyard come get it. So, I'm a little dirty, but there we have it. The car is fully, fully disassembled. We didn't really take our time. We were just fucking yanking shit and cutting shit because we just wanted it out of here. We got a nice cesspool under there we have to clean up, which is not going to be fun, but finally, it's finally going to be out of the garage, and we can finally start this build. Oh god, I have no grip. You wanna drag it? Yeah. Here, I'll just find something to tow it with. Oh, you have straps in the back, right? Yeah, but they're small boost straps. So we'll use two or three. My battery's almost dead, so hopefully it doesn't die, but I gotta drag the bitch out with the Durango. Slowly go forward, like put it in drive, get tension on it, and then go yeah, from there. there. Go get in there so it doesn't hit my car. What do you mean? Oh. This is the last time you guys are gonna see her. But it's okay, because I don't really don't give a shit. She's a piece of shit. Fuck this thing. You want this? Sit. Lay down. Stay. Stay. Go oh, yeah. here. Good boy. Guys, look at that. We are at 49,938 subscribers. So definitely be on the lookout for the Q&A video. I forgot what video I asked uh, for all you guys to put your questions down in the comments. So if you guys want, you can put all your questions down in this video and I will make a video, full video dedicated to answering all your questions, which is gonna be fun. And I'm so stoked that we hit, or that we're almost at 50,000 subscribers. I've been vlogging for like, what, three months now and the growth that we have seen in the past three months is absolutely ridiculous. It's it's, it's honestly mind boggling, like I said before, it's amazing. I just wanna thank each and every one of you, so. With that being said, let's get some skids on the G27. Now that wraps up today's vlog, guys. If you guys are excited for the E36 build, definitely go down to the comment section, leave some feedback, leave a like if you liked it, leave a like if you didn't like it. Let's see if we can smash a thousand likes on this vlog, and I will see you guys soon.